I know, right? It's actually pretty nice, man. Yeah, I like it. Hey, guys, what's up, man? Welcome back, man. Let me put this off to the side. Me and Wilson are sitting here unboxing stuff. Let me get the instructions. All right. Welcome back to the show. This is New Stuff TV, and I'm your host, Antoine TikTok Richardson. Hey, man, my friends over at Tribit decided to send me over this Tribit Home speaker. It's a, like a clock home device. It's not like connected to Google Home or Alexa or anything like that. It's just a straight up Bluetooth clock. Check it out right there. It's actually looking for something to pair to, which I will do in just a moment. It's on military time, man. Let me get this thing set up right. Hold up. All right, there we go. We got an actual time set on it because that was annoying me. Now, let me get this thing hooked up to my Bluetooth real quick. Let's pair this bad boy up. It is paired. Now, let's look at some features, Wilson. Check this out. All right, so we have all these little buttons right here. These are, I guess they're capacitive touch. So we got a left and right, which we can toggle like next track and stuff like that, which is gonna be pretty cool because we're gonna play some music, of course, because you know we gotta answer that one question. <laughs> All right, then this right here is an input button. Then you got a plus and minus for your volume right there. Wilson, you are really far back, dude. Come on, man. There you go. This right here is a kind of a white noise uh, button where you can toggle through some, you know, some different sounds from nature and stuff like that. There's your alarm clock button. Let's see what that one does. Okay, that, that's where you set that alarm. For those of y'all who have to wake up at a very specific time, my condolences. I had to, you know, being in the military, man, I woke up at like 0430, 05 every day and it sucked. And then I messed around and got out of the Marine Corps, started up my own fitness boot camp. Guess what time I was getting up? 0430. So <laughs> I had my freedom and I still chose to get up that dang early. Anyways, I've digressed. Back to the clock. Right here, you got your snooze and sleep button and then you have a source button because this thing will let you play uh, from your auxiliary cable. Like if you got an old school iPod or source like that or you know some kind of music playing source, then you can go uh, to the FM radio. Let me, let me turn that down. Let me turn that down because they're giving you an FM antenna. So if you just want to tune into your local radio stations when you wake up or just chilling during the day, you can do that via the plug in on the back, which I will show you shortly. Hold on, man. Next, you can toggle to SD because it does have an SD card slot in the back. Let's go back to Bluetooth because I'm a Bluetooth dude. And then over here, we have this light button. So we got a light right there. Now, I have tried this over and over again because you can actually dim the light and brighten it. I've tried it over and over again. This is almost like some kind of, like a lightsaber almost. <laughs> I've tried to dim the light. You're supposed to be able to, like once you hit the light, yeah, see right now it's toggling the volume up and down. I'm connected to Bluetooth, but you're supposed to be able to put, uh, hit the plus and minus once you're on the light, uh, white light. That way you can toggle the brightness of the light, but I have not been able to figure that one out. But if you tap it again, you get just kind of like a, a color wave of different colors. That is beautiful, man. Can you actually see that right there? That is, it's beautiful, man. Check it out, man. Check, check out that side. I know it's really bright and you're having a hard time seeing those colors, but you got all that RGB right there. It is coming in hot, trust me. But if you toggle it one more time, you actually get this RGB effect and it kind of just does little tricks along with your music. So that's where I'm gonna get into playing some music because we got to figure out if this thing jams or not. Hold up, man. <laughs> it had a nice little bassy tone as I uh, got it hooked up to Bluetooth, but uh, we need to make sure this thing can bring the thump first thing in the morning. Let me see. Oh yeah. Hey! Hey, Travis, dude, your alarm clock don't jam like this. I don't know what you're working with right now, but your alarm, uh, your alarm clock does not jam like this. Man, you hear that bass? That's a nice, clean sound. Yeah. That is a clean sound. Did you hear, did you see the, the light kind of blinking and stuff? That's the music effect. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave that on for, for video's sake, but, um, yeah, man, Tribit really does not let me down when it comes to Bluetooth speakers. I love their Stormbox Pro, the Stormbox, the Stormbox Micro, all their Bluetooth speakers are awesome. They put that same stuff up in here and then threw an alarm clock on the face of it. Man, this is, this is kind of nice, man. I really like the sound that comes out of this thing. Let's go through some white noise real quick. That is white noise. 
seashore. Let me turn that up for you. Man, that's... Sorry, man. It's, it's so relaxing. Hold <laughs> We go through the next one. Okay, that's that's light music. That's pretty relaxing. That's like baby music right there. Put your baby to sleep. Was that rain? Yeah. Oh man, a good rainstorm will knock me out. Got them birds. And pause. Okay, yeah, I got the music on pause because I am connected to Bluetooth. So if you want to listen to something like, you know, the rain or something like that, you just put it on snooze because you got the snooze and sleep there and this thing's going to work out real nice for you, man. Let me show it to you. I'm, I'm still sitting here basking in all of its glory. I need to show it to the people, man. There you go. But you know what? I also need to show you these inputs right here. So it does need to be plugged in. Womp, womp, womp. I just got a notification. Who's messing with me right now as I'm talking to my people? Chris Williams. Chris Williams, don't be texting me while I'm, while I'm shooting videos and talking to my people. Wilson, you better tell him, man. Chris, I'll be back to you. Anyways, all right, so this right here is your SD card slot. This is your antenna input because it has a 3.5 millimeter uh, male end that goes in there. And this is your DC adapter that it actually comes with. It must remain plugged in. But on the bottom here, you can see where you have that CR30. Wait, which one is it? Let me make sure. Let me see what battery it is. It's probably one of those CR2032s. What is this? Yep, a CR2032 battery. So just in case your power goes out or something, you can still have some power and it won't affect your alarm clock because that happens to a lot of people. Look, shout out in the comments if you have ever lost power at night. Even in this day and age, you lose power at night and then your phone ain't working right and now you, uh, you're late for work or late getting up. Doesn't have to worry about that because it's got that backup battery there. And then there's one more port here. Oh yeah, two more ports. You got your USB-C input, I'm sorry, charge out. So you can actually charge your phone out through here or you have a standard USB or USB-A output right there. Now, just for video sake, let me make sure I can actually charge my phone with this thing. Let me see. Let me plug it up, let me plug it up. Once you hear that tone. Yeah, it's charging. All right, so we don't have fast charging. It is simply charging. And I got, I'm at 34% and I got an hour and 25 minutes till it's full. So it is charging on a semi good speed. Either way, I am no expert on alarm clocks, but what I do know is this thing jams <laughs> and it's got that, I, I like the, which, which one was it? Which one? No, yeah, Seashore. God dog, that is relaxing. Hey, <laughs> look, y'all keep being good to each other. And, uh, got that. Okay. I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?